a medical diagnosis in and of itself is not the underlying problem, probably in most cases. So for example, if someone diagnosed you with hypertension or high blood pressure, that's more of a manifestation of some underlying problem. Or diabetes, a manifestation of some underlying problem. Or even cancer is a manifestation of some underlying problem. So as I said, we're here at the clinic and we were dealing with lots of patient complex issues. And today we're gonna to talk about two patients with heart failure and blood clots. Who's the first patient, Camille? Her name will Carmis OA. She's a 53 year old female. She has a long history of hypertension and diabetes. She had breast cancer treated with chemotherapy and a mastectomy in 2001. And then in 2008, she was diagnosed with heart failure after giving birth. And they believed the heart failure could have been also heavily due to damage over time, like late toxic effects from the chemotherapy agents because she was on three of those for a few years. So she had moved to Houston from out of state, wanted to find a new cardiologist and learn what she could do more naturally to improve her health condition. She would get out of breath with exertion sometimes at her job. And, you know, she wanted to stick around for her children. She enjoyed her work, improve her health, but she struggled because sometimes these higher doses of these standard heart failure medications would cause her to not feel well and cause some side effects. During her testing today, you know, we saw the, the pumping of the heart was quite weak, less than 20%. And we saw like a blood clot forming and then fear of vena cava, a major vessel going to the heart. So, you know, it's interesting. Very unfortunate. First of all, as a young person, 53 is very young. Even at that age, she has a lot of chronic problems. But if we just back up and think about what's going on with her, the history of diabetes and high blood pressure, then, of course, the diagnosis of cancer, then, of course, the heart failure after the cancer treatment. At first glance, at first you know impression, you say, well, this patient has a lot of complex medical problems. But again, as we always say, we like to try to think of the foundation of these problems. So if we take these different diagnostic labels, if you will, and say that these are just different manifestations of an underlying problem, then we can look at that medical history, history of diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, then treatment for cancer, then heart failure, we can think of it as sort of one problem that's progressing over time. Now, even though the cancer was diagnosed and treated per se, the treatment probably only treated the manifestation, but not necessarily the underlying problem. And so if you only treat the manifestation, it's only covering up something and not really eradicating something. So the underlying problem continues to progress. That's one. Two, the treatment itself may also contribute to the underlying problem. Now, most individuals with chronic illnesses have one of several underlying problems, and most of the time they're all working together. One underlying problem is inflammation. Another underlying problem is increased oxidative stress, which is increased toxic chemicals. We call them free radicals in medicine, but increased toxicity in the body. The third one is an abnormal or disruptive microbiome. Your gut is disrupted and not healed. So if we go back in this inflammatory process, dysbiosis process, increased oxidative stress process is getting worse over time you're having different manifestation of this underlying process. So now she comes and she has worsening heart failure, in part due to the underlying process, probably part due to the treatment of one of the underlying process, or the, or one of the diagnoses. And then she also has a new problem, yeah. which would appear to be a blood clot. Now, clotting is something that happens when your body clots inappropriately the body's getting signals of some kind of a damage, some kind of an injury, in which case it uses the same chemical markers that you see in increased inflammation to signal the body to form clots. So 
underlying inflammation is probably contributing to the clotting. So if we think of her set of diagnosis in that regard, then we say, well, why don't we cut to the underlying processes and address those things, and the manifestations will likely subside or be better controlled. When listening to you discuss her condition, I think our approach with her, what test did we get? get blood work and we did echo? And the ultrasounds, lots of, like you said, inflammatory markers, looking at stress in the blood vessels, especially, or screening for like autoimmune and screening for lots of causes of the inflammation. And we know that there's areas of her diet to work on and improve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm which she was really interested in doing. Mm -hmm. So the approach we will take, as Colonel said, and then the echo you said showed the heart to be very weak. There was also fluid around the heart called pericardial fusion, which could be a pericarditis and it's inflammation around the heart. So there's evidence of systemic inflammation, which is associated with increased oxidative stress. So our approach with the nutrition level is going to be an aggressive anti-inflammatory, anti-oxidative nutritional regimen. Once we get some of our blood tests, we'll then do some targeted micronutrient supplementations. We can also do things like infrared sauna, which has an anti-inflammatory effect, ozone therapy. So there are a lot of therapies we can uh, use that has a very powerful anti-inflammatory effect. So it'll be interesting to see how she responds to this approach. I think that she's going to have a pretty good outcome if we're able to successfully reduce the inflammation, reduce oxidative stress, and we'll follow her very closely through the clinic. So stay tuned for Miss OA because we'll give you follow-up on her because I anticipate that she's going to respond quite well to this approach. Thanks for watching. If you got value out of this video, please like it, subscribe, and hit the notification button to see our next show.